Hi there, my name is Alvira Wood. I suffered a dog attack about two months ago and one of the main injuries I suffered was I lost part of my left ear. You can see uh, it looks a bit like an elf ear now um, compared to a normal ear. The decision at the time of the accident and following as well with discussions with a plastic surgeon is that it would be a very long and painful process to surgically reconstruct the ear um, and the decision was to lift the disease. I then investigated the option of a prosthesis which um, was specifically made for me. Now I want to show you what it involves to actually attach the prosthesis on my ear. This needs to be done every single morning and then removed in the evening or during the day, um, I cannot swim with it. It's got a water-based glue and also the chlorine will probably influence the colouring of the prosthesis. It's made from silicone, but over time it could damage that. Um, it could also probably, the chlorine water can make it brittle. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you, as you can see, it is, um, at the moment I don't even have makeup on. So we're going to go through the whole process and go, going to go through a couple of cuts and um based on the on the video so yeah let's see um have a look at my watch now and it's just after seven in the morning i work late shifts today i typically work early shift which means that this needs to happen at about quarter past four in the mornings so yeah let's let's have a look and see okay let's see to start um this is my box with all my stuff for my ear um there's a lot of stuff we won't use just now we're going to use it a bit later so let's just take out what we need. We need a little box. We need glue. Okay, and then the rest we can move out the way for the time being. Um, so I keep my ear in this box for protection. Um, you can see in the container there are two ears. This ear was originally made, um, but the color was a bit dark. The colors get um, mixed individually. For each person and this one this is this a bit red my ear was actually very red that day so we then based the color on my other ear and it is this ear and it is also the ear that i'm going to put on today so i need this and i need an earbud so we can put the other ear away we can close up i've been told to just always close everything up to make sure everything's always protected so this little container is um medical grade glue um, it is in a tiny little separate container. I've got a bigger container in the cupboard. Um, a bottle of glue is about 350 Rand for one bottle. And because you open close, open close, it can go hard. And then you've paid a lot of money that you can't use a glue for. So I was advised to decant. There's another one also in my box. Um, and then just work on the decant. Okay, so now we're going to... This tightens quite tight because of the glue. Let's put it there. So use this, dip it in my glue, and now in my ear you can see the glue is white. Okay. Now I need to carefully in the ear, in this, let's see if I can get it, you can see what I'm doing. Rub the glue all over, especially on these tiny little parts because they're the ones that later is going to battle to stick down, trust me. And this one is the other guilty part. It is some little fluff there. And then we carefully all over the inside going to put some glue on. Excellent. Now you can see this is quite white. Now this can't stick, I cannot now stick this to my ear. This must now first set a bit. So if I bring it closer, it needs to set and it needs to go close on see-through. So this can take quite a while. So I'm going to just put it down here. Um, the earbud I can throw away just now because I'm not going to use it. And also always immediately close the glue in case you knock it over. Um, so if we have a quick look on my watch... I don't know if you can see, it's now about 10 for 7. Um, I'm not going to stop this and I'm going to have a coffee or do my face makeup because that needs to set before we can attach and I can show you further. Okay, 
continuously. Yeah, um, let's have a look. It's now about 20 past. Um, that's upside down. That's about 20 past seven. Um, here's the ear. You can see if I hold it up, that glue is there's still white left, but it's mostly see through settled now. Okay, I've got this little some makeup um, tool, and I specifically need that one of this funny shape because we now need to get this onto my ear. And at the moment, my ear is a bit problematic because it's growing out still of the surgery and it gets in the way. So let's see because I need to. I can only do it once, um, otherwise. I'm going to start restart with all the glue. So um, typically try and look it from the back. And then I must try and not get the insides. Not let it touch on the inside. This is I'm not that good yet because I've not done it this long. And you can see that little top of that ear. That is always my problem to get it physically in. And then there's hair in the way. Um, no, there we go. It's nice and in. Um, get the hair out the way. Make sure it's properly in. Make sure it sits nice and snug here. Um, this is actually a very nice and quick effort. There's a little glue. We'll sort that out just now. Um, and here. And that is also looking quite fine. And now typically what I do is I look in the mirror to check. I can look in the phone as well. Oh, the ears the same size because if they're the same size, it means that this ear is pushed on properly. As I told you, there's a little bit of glue there. Um, I'm just stepping away and getting a little scissor because the problem is I can't pull it off. I need to cut that glue off. If I pull it off, it's just going to extend it okay now so that is actually very quick i'm getting better um the problem is that there's quite clear joints here you can see where my ear goes onto there's another piece of silica that needs to go away first there's a very clear um mark between my ear here there at the top it's very obvious reach and here on the inside of my ear. So what I need to do is I first need to smooth those ridges because it doesn't help I put makeup on um, because it will not take the ridge away. So I use this. It is liquid latex and it's actually um, I had others but unfortunately it turned a bit watery. So this is um, I bought this at um, a pharmacy that you use it to put eyelashes on and um, this one also works quite nice because it's got a little nice tip I had to take the part of the bottle apart so I can get it out so what we now do is starting at the top and trying to stay out of the way of the hair I now need to fill and smooth that joint there quite nicely you can see once again it is white. Um, I'll have to make a different plan with this hair at some stage. It is now really growing out and starting to cause major havoc. This is actually quite thick and way thicker than what you would have used for an eyelash. An idea is exactly to smooth that edge out. So it also helps me to um, it holds the ear on better. Then same goes for i don't know how clear you can see uh, there you can see now i've got a problem there this didn't stick down properly so this is not going to be quite problematic to convince it to stick down eh. this happens quite often so i have to now stop with the latex um I grabbed my glue that we used earlier so we're going to get a bit of glue on my spatula which I must make sure is clean because if the spatula is not clean then and it goes into the glue it can actually damage my glue so I'm now going to have a bit of glue on the spatula and see if I can get it inside the okay the problem is now this is very white 
and it's not sticking yet. So now I need to actually stand here for a couple of minutes and hold my ear like this until that piece try decides to go down. Okay, the phone also moved a bit, so you can see the whole piece is lifted. Um, so yeah, this and this happens often. Um, it happens either here or on a different spot, which I'll show you just now once I can move my hand. You can see every time I lift it up, that piece is not yet stuck down. And unfortunately, it is pieces of ear that lifts that gives away in the end that it is a prosthetic. Um, we are almost there, it's starting to stick. But yeah, you can imagine if you are in a rush for work, this is a problem. Um, as I said, this, this is also not quite funny. It helps for the morning when I work early shift to try and do this. Um, let's see, I see while I'm, yeah, I just want to pull here because there's latex in my hair. Um, I think once my hair is a bit longer and can be brushed back, it will help a lot. Aha! It is very basically there. I'm just going to hold it. I don't hold it with my finger because then the glue sticks to my finger. A um, little bit more. Okay, and there it goes. You can see it is now actually down um, eventually, um, or mostly down. Um, we'll fix that joint now. The other place where that happens is in here. Um, that often lifts and that is very irritating as well. So, um, just need to quickly close my glue again, grab my latex and now we can continue the latex effort on this ear and we can over that joint very carefully. Ah, it's still lifting, still lifting. Okay, I'll fix that just now. But I also need to do latex here because we're going to smooth that in a bit later. And if I go back to the top, you can see that one is actually quite obvious again, just as the latex pulls into it, flows into it. Okay. So this, as you, once again, it's white, snow white, and you can see the one that is lifted. I now need to wait for it to dry and it needs to get see-through, completely see-through. If I fiddle now with makeup on it, um, the makeup will set in the white and it will stay white. So yet again, we're going to stop a bit. So on my watch, it's now half past. Um, there you go, it's half past seven. So I'm going to stop the video a bit, then I'll continue later. Um, try again to see if I can get that little piece that's lifting down in the meantime. And then we will finish off and get quite a natural look on it okay we're back um let's have a look it's about 10 to 8 now um so it's almost an hour since i started this whole process um if you look closely you can see it's a little bit white still there it's a little white white that is settled very beautifully on the inside um so yeah so i'm going to now push my luck and finish it off so um one of the absolute giveaways that this is a, a prosthetic ear is due to how my ear healed um, the little tip of my ear here this side actually healed close it joined there so the prosthetic can't fit on the inside like that so what it does is if you look in it makes a little uh, makes a little gap there there we go and you can clearly see it and it's quite obvious so I use this so this is, um, if I open it, this is wax makeup. It is used for um, special effects makeup. Um, it's not readily available. I know of only one shop in, 
or distribute and um, they've got their own shop in Johannesburg that distributes it so I need to drive to you to go and get it and it's I think about 70 bucks for a little container like this you can see I've used quite a bit already so here's my lovely tool again so we're going to um, let's hold it like this I'm going to scoop some of this wax out and the trick is now to hold the ear on the back otherwise it won't work and you'll ruin it and to actually squish that right right in to see to what extent I can hide that gap now as I go I need some more wax every now and then you'll also see I will wax carefully so that I don't unravel this joint that I battled earlier with with this wax now you can also see the wax is lighter than my ear um, this was the only color they had in stock where I went to get it so I had to take it but um, we're going to make a plan of that just now so that's not the issue let's see how much just that little bit the and you can't use your hands because then it sticks on your hands and it just becomes a mess. You can see it's quite smooth there. Just need to smooth that out as well. Okay, now the other big giveaway is um, this joint on my ear. And I've had a look earlier and it looks, I'm going to turn this around. It looks as if there's, yeah, yeah, there was ear that got stuck in the, or hair that got stuck in the prosthesis. So what you're now going to do, turn the thing around, and on that joint, we're going to press some wax, um, just to also finally, finally smooth it out. The wax, you'll also now see there's something quite cool, but you can see that joint is at this stage, and it's not a problem, it's a bit rough at the moment, we're going to fix it just now. You can see okay there we go so it's happened that it takes so long for that in the mornings for that liquid latex to settle that by the time I need to leave for work it's not finished and it's not dry so and you can see because I'm putting wax on it that's why it has to be dry so I would actually get in the car and drive to work and quickly go and finish up the bathroom at work where unfortunately light is also not that good and i need fairly good light here we've got the same problem um we're going to not put too much on here but we need to hide that white latex it will over during the day probably settle a bit more we're going to hide it a little bit with the wax and try and hide this joint as much as we can um, let's have a look. The big thing is actually more the joint than the latex. It's the latex will go away. And the latex does also help. It's a bit sticky, so it helps for this to, to stick properly on it. Okay. Okay, brilliant. Okay, just clean that a little bit. I just actually scrape it off on the edges. I need to clean my tools after this. We just close it up now. For the last bit i've got this is a blush that i had to mash for my ear i bought, bought also at there's a pharmacy or a makeup shop but it was quite a challenge to find something that matches my ear exactly and it must also not be shiny because like makeup on my eyes um else my eye will shine so i use a little makeup brush and now you'll see the moment i start there being the powder on so it's sticking a bit out of the back of the ear, but luckily nobody's going to look at the back of my ear. And then you can see as I dab the blush on, which is a powder format, suddenly all the it goes smooth and it literally melts in that is a joint that i didn't join with a latex i normally don't do but i sometimes just whack it a little bit with that i'm moving a bit around because i'm trying to the lights behind me and it's shining a bit so yes and that 
should be it. So yeah, that's why I, I often joke and say it takes longer to do makeup on my ear than on my face. Um, you can see I did my makeup while I was waiting for the ear to dry. And finally, I can actually put my earring in because I luckily have that piece left of my ear. Um, let's just turn it. And there you go. Done.